it's your favorite podcast. It's Bang On from Y'all. The Reckoning with Reasoning. With your host, Legendary G. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to another episode of Vanguard from Yard, The Reckoning with Reasoning. So, my special guest today is none other than upcoming Roots Reggae artist, Ken Ellis. But before I get into the introduction of Ken Ellis, I'd just like to say happy 60th anniversary of independence to Jamaica. This year will mark Jamaica's 60th year of independence. The period will showcase many exciting events across the island. And according to the government, this will revitalize and, you know, bring back some nostalgic moment of our heritage and culture. So, throughout this week, there will be a series of events from the ministry and also from promoters across the island. So, it's Jamaica's 60th and we just want to say, give thanks, many thanks to our ancestors who fought for our freedom and who gave us an opportunity so we can live like this today. We are, you know, far away from what we want to be, but, you know, nonetheless, this is Jamaica's 60th anniversary, and we just want to give thanks and show some appreciation. So my guest today is Kenardo Ellis, better known by his stage name, Ken Ellis, straight out of New Hall District in Manchester, Jamaica. He was the former lead singer of the Six Points Band, and the Six Points Band did numerous events across the island. His unique sound transcended typical frequency, on your airwaves, but carries an essential part of our ancestral frequency. Blend with his own contemporary style of delivery, merging genres like soul, jazz, roots reggae, blues into a natural vibration. He's a past student of the Edna Manley College and now on a solar journey working with the likes of Cashflow Records. So ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Ken Ellis. Roots die Roots die Roots die, Lord Roots die, yeah We have roots in the style of Coming along, we have roots in the style of broken zone. We have roots in the style of one to all of my being in here. Bobo Shanti, revival now, and it's a root style. Yeah, so welcome, welcome again to another episode of Vanguard from Yard, The Reckoning with Reasoning. And my special guest today is Sir Kenardo Ellis, better known as Ken Ellis. Welcome again, Ken Ellis, to the Vanguard from Yard. Blessing, Ryan. Give thanks, you know. Such a blessing to be here representing the culture and the vibration of our Jamaican traditional music. I mean, which is roots music from your yes, bank yard. Yes, sir. Give a thanks. So, yes, Ken Ellis. Yeah, man. It's been a while, my friend. How have you been? Well, I know I've been good, man, you know, giving thanks and, you know, doing what I must do. You know what I mean? Playing the music, which is the heartbeat of I and I. You know what I mean? The soul. So. Yes, sir. Yes, man. Good. Give thanks to City Eye again, because, you know, it's been a minute, you know what I mean? Yes, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's been a while. It's just been a little minute. Yeah, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. So, we want to get, you know, into it. How did you get started on this, you know, path with music? Well, it's part of music, you know. It come forward from high school days, you know. 
starting on the Congo drums and them thing that you know that me usually play first. You know, I was the leader for the drum corps in high school. So it really started from that and then the transition coming to the writing, you know, until I realized so yeah, I wanna go further this thing, you know. And really take it up on a fullness you now and you know what I mean? Yeah. Just start be more truthful to the music and make it lead the way. Yes man. Yeah man. At what age did you be you know, became consciously aware that music is the path you should take. Like, you know, you say, wow, you know, so I realize that I have a thing about me. Yeah, well, well, after me, I said, no, we're in high school, I play drums and things, combo drums. It really come forward to me in like, when I have a CXC, you know what I mean? And this I said, boy, I'm going to stop trim and them things and start <laughs> Really weird. In a, in a CXC. So that, I was about like, what, 18, 17, 18 at that time. You know what I mean? On my way out of high school in Ball, Fifth Farm. Yeah, you know, CXC time. You know what I mean? Yes, man. The roots reggae sound is evident. Mm -hmm. And I would like to talk about, you know, not just the roots reggae, but a little bit of blues, a jazz. Yeah. I'm getting a, you know, a whole heap of yeah, soul. soul and different yeah. type of sound, but the way you just put it together and, you know, resonate with it in this day and age. I would just like to ask you, who are some of your musical influence? First and foremost, my musical influence come forward from you know, Bob Marley, same way, you know, as an inspiration, you know. When you put the soul in the music, you know, Jamaican music, you know what I mean? It's a heritage and it's a culture too. So it's a vibration where I and I feel it and besides I man want to do it like that and even greater, you know what I mean, and establish a thing. To the youths them coming up of today right now, you know what I mean, and then we have one like Al Green, Delroy Wilson, yes. you know what I mean? Um, John Holt, Alton Ellis, you know, Nat King Cole, you know what I mean? Um, Lucky Dube, you know. So there's a wide variety of people, plus you have women too, Arita Franklin, and I love Arita Franklin. Yes, bless you. Because of the soul, where she sing with and them things. So. It's a whole different array of artists, you know what I mean? With blues, jazz, soul. Reggae music. Definitely. Yes, sir. What role did Edna Manley play in the development of your craft? Well, it helped my life really structure the music more um, on a, they call it now, on a professional level in terms of understanding how certain things work. You know, like certain things like chord progressions, you know, chord changes, compositions, arrangements. You know, you can have one thing and then arrange it differently and you give it your own touch, you know what I mean? So school really help bring forward all of them qualities there, you know, the music. Yes, man. Yes, man. Give thanks. Yeah, man. You were also the, the, the lead singer of the Six Points Band. Talk yes, to me man. about that journey leading up to the time you decided to go solo. Yeah, man. The journey, that was a great journey, you know. Now I will ever forget and regret that journey because that journey build the character. Definitely. And build the personality and build the musical skills and what I and I have right now. So that journey was definitely a journey that I am and I forgot you. You know what I mean? To come forward right now, to come say, oh yeah, you know, give thanks every time, six points. Yes, man. And that's how we actually met because, you know, back then mm -hmm. I was one of the first one who, who gave yeah, six yeah. points the opportunity yeah. to come share the music because, yeah, you know, man. I hear the sound and I say, no man, them, them youth here have this yeah. ancient yeah. sound. But it's like an ancient future sound. Yes. Yeah, it's it's ancient. contemporary, but it have this ancient thing where yeah. you, just have to, you, you can't deny it. It's undeniable, you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, I don't know if you know, say, you are channel some different type of frequency. Yeah, where yeah. it's not the mainstream thing, but it's different. Yeah. It's wholesome. Remember when I have to listen to the inner voice every time. I have to go inside our soul every time. So if you come forward and deliver music in such a way, you know, you have to go deep within yourself. Yes. You can't just step on the surface and uh, skim off the top. You Definitely. I mean? You have to really dive underneath and realize what underneath this one, realize, say, yo, this music is more than what we look at it to be. Yes. You know what I mean? And only if we just take the dive, we can realize so much things and discover a lot of things yes. within this music. Yeah, man? Did at any time in your career, you know, on your journey, you ever been misunderstood like the industry, you know, get your sound and why you try to, you know, bring forth? You ever feel like people not really <laughs> take on to the right. essence of Ken Ellis? Well, I mean, so far in my encounter, everybody with me really play music with, play music with and play music around. 
you know, every audience, you know, them always receive it with such humbling joy. You know what I mean? So it gives me hope in this thing for say oh, what me are doing here is not really just for me alone but for everybody. And if everybody is doing the other thing which is, you know what I mean, enjoying themselves and everything. You know, Iman can do the next thing too, which is make you go in on yourself and really see what you have in yourself. You know, not just I and I, but what you have in yourself. So it's really a journey to self, you know what I mean? Yes, man. And anything else. So it's not really so much about the hula la la and all of them things. Yes. It's just a journey to self, you know, self discovery, self mastery. Yes. You know what I mean? When I and I play this instrument, I have to connect with it so we can connect with you. Definitely. You know what I mean? So, that is the journey where I and I depend on this. Yes, man. I see the eye bigger than a musician. I see the eye as a, as, as a, as a frequency where you convey a certain, where you convey a certain message to us yeah, in this time. And it had, it had to come through that frequency yeah, where you man. possess, you know, because it really makes you have to stop and think and, you know, take in the music. Music is also a vibration and a frequency, as I mentioned. Yes. You know what I mean? And for we even connect like that, it means that we have to really let go of certain things. So we can connect with that energy that, that, yes, man. that spirituality that we all need in the music right now. You know what I mean? For really get to the soul of the music. Yes. You know what I mean? Because you know sometimes when I play, when I play my guitar, I mean it bring me to a different heights and different yeah. meditation. So imagine one time me transfers a message to some some other people. I mean yeah. I convey the message to some other people out there. Like what may I feel upon this right now? so much more than what it can even be. Yes. You know what I mean? So when me deliver what me I feel upon this to you, you're supposed to feel it ten times yes, man. more than how me I feel it. Yes man. You know? By how the message I convey. You know what I mean? Yes man. You know I mean? Give thanks man. So you're currently working with Cash Flow Records. Talk me about the, the, the track Reggae Roots and how the inspiration yeah. came about. Yeah man, Reggae Roots well yeah, Reggae Roots is like a family, it's like a family track. You know what I mean? So, it really started with Cashflow and your son. You know what I mean? Cashflow Kyle, big up yourself. Yeah, big up Kyle. Yeah, man. General. Yes. You know, him build the rhythm. Nice. Build the rhythm from, from home. Nice. You know what I mean? And then bring it forward, coming out of the studio now. And me link me and say, yo, I'm have a rhythm. <laughs> and when him link me and say, I'm have a rhythm, I mean, listen to the rhythm and say, but it's mad. I will build it. I'm say, Kyle build it. And I say, yo, your son Kyle, look at Kyle. <laughs> I say yeah, you know. So one time I really listen to it like that, I say, oh, it's more than just just a rhythm when we get yeah. to sing for you know, This I come from a youth, and from a youth can really put out the message and them vibration. And then why not, you know? So we just get my guitar at the same time and start play and play on the cards, them on it and them thing then start right. Yes. You know, and so comes it forward more and more reggae music on the go. Nice, nice. You know? Yeah man. So the inspiration was actually from Kyle. Yeah man. A young Kyle, star you. Young you know what I mean? Star, man, a child shall lead the way. Yeah. I always remember that. Yes right. Yeah. Give thanks man. <laughs> so talk to me about are, are you with any management or are you managed by anybody um currently? Well management is really by I and I and I mean cash flow is always there too. You know what I mean? For the bookings and you know, for production to the same way, we start work with them just, just the other day. So, management and, and bookings is really between me and cash flow. You know what I mean? So, you know, because from a time I've been working, you know, by myself and, you know what I mean, doing the music and trying to get the links and the contacts and, yes. you know, just trying to bring out this message right here, right now. You know, and you now I will say what everybody will go to, like, you know, willing to really give us strength. But yeah. I mean, for the ones that we'll go to and then do our strength, we big them up every time. Yeah, man. You know, on the self every time. So, I always have to remember that. Say, oh, everything starts with the self still, you know. Definitely. So, you have to put out the self out there first. Definitely. You know what I mean? We don't have the big management, we have the whole of thing, whole of thing, but we have ourselves and the Almighty. Definitely. You know what I mean? And this guitar, yeah, my voice. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? We give thanks to that. You yes, know? man. Any upcoming shows that you're doing currently? Yeah, well, we're working on a, a few shows coming up right now. Um, I think the Marcus Gav celebration coming up yes. in August. You know, I'm mean, really looking forward. You know, and that's so, in the courtyard of Irie, no? It's in the courtyard of Irie. Yes, man. I mean, we're just working on some more songs right now. Working on an EP for October coming up. You know, October is going to be a great month, yes. actually. So I work on the EP there yes. for October. You know what I mean? 
anybody out there want to do bookings, you know? This is Ken Ellis, sing and play. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, man. Right. Soul music, <laughs> live music, never dead. It is right. It is right, Kel Ellis. Talk me about the social media and how people can reach out to you and find you on social media. Emmanuel, social media on um, Instagram is Ken underscore Ellis, official. You know what I mean? And um, Facebook is Ken Ellis, YouTube is Ken Ellis, you know, iTunes, Spotify is Ken Ellis. You know, Ken Hard Ellis is my name, but you just shorten it and write Ken Ellis. So, anything you put in point in a Ken Ellis is me. Yes, man. Most definitely. Well, my general, you know, it's been a while. <laughs> and this is just the first interview, you know, on the vanguard from here, the reckoning with reasoning, and we will continue the journey and keep update. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. And just tune in every time, vanguard from here. Don't join a bad car like a bad man is saying. Yes, Make sir. Sure you play cards right. See? Give thanks, man. Yes, sir. All right. More and more reggae music on the go Give a dog a bow, you know it's coming but for more Jamaica is the island and we've got a lot to show More and more reggae music on the go Give a dog a bow, you know it's coming but for more Jamaica is the island and we've got a lot to show Give thanks. Yeah, man. Yes, man. So that's it for today's episode of Vanguard from Yard. Yes, man. The reckoning with reasoning. That's yes, man. Right. Every time. So remember, follow Ken Ellis. Yeah. Check out the music. You're not going to be yeah, you know, disappointed. It's a different winter, type of... Winter, winter season coming up. You know, so all you promoters and show bookers and show lookers link up. You know, it's either me or cash flow. Zane. Which is right. Let's link up forward and vanguard from here. Every time, keep doing the thing right. Cause we love this. Zane. Yeah, man. Many more to go. You know what I mean? We get music on the go. Yes, G sir. Give thanks. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, man. Every time. Yeah, man. So that's it for today's episode of Vanguard from Yard Reckoning with Reasoning. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please remember to support our entertainers. They need the support. Also. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share my content. See you next week.